Hi there, welcome to Fit at 40, Shane McLeod here, and today we're going to talk about the importance of vitamin D3. Are you getting enough, and if not, what can happen? Right after this. So we're going to be talking about D3, vitamin D3, and how important it is. Now I didn't realize this until I was at my local health store talking to a nutritionist and herbalist who was explaining to me the importance of vitamin D3. I went in with some um, muscle soreness and I was having some sleep issues and one of the things he suggested was vitamin D3. So after we talked a little bit about it and I've done some research on it, I decided to share some of it with you. So after some research into vitamin D3, I, I found out some alarming facts. One of them was that there's a vitamin D3 deficiency epidemic worldwide and that over a billion people are at risk with diseases associated with chronic low levels of vitamin D3. This I found really alarming. The good news is all people have to do is, is either take some orally through supplements or get it naturally from the sun. So another interesting fact I found out was that if we don't have enough vitamin D3, but we're still intaking vitamin A, it can actually cause bone loss or bone density loss. Uh, I found that very interesting. But the good news is we just got to take adequate amounts of D3 and we can prevent that. And the reason for that is normal bone modeling requires both vitamin A and vitamin D3. Pretty simple. So what are some of the benefits of increasing our D3 intake daily? Well, stronger bones for one, greater muscle strength, um, better recovery, enhances our immunity, normalizes our blood pressure, protects us against cancers, colds, and flus, better balance emotionally and mentally, as well as reduces chronic pain, improves dental health, supports prostate health, and better bowel health. And the last two, you know, are actually pretty important for men aging, say, in late 40s to 50s and 60s. One of the other things I found out were why people suffered vitamin D3 deficiencies. And there are pretty simple um, problems, things like uh, sun avoidance, wearing too much sunblock, um, indoor work, staying indoors too much, high latitudes, and living further away from the equator, which is some, one of the things that uh, I struggle with because I have shorter days. I live up in um, Thunder Bay, Ontario, which is quite a ways from the equator. So we have shorter winter days, about eight, seven, maybe six, seven hours, and a lot of time they're overcast. So when I started taking vitamin D3, it, I felt within the first couple of days immediate effects in my mood and energy. Some of the negative things that can happen to us from not having enough vitamin D3 are things like osteoporosis, poor immunity, diabetes, hypertension, cancer, flus, and colds, as well as a, a plethora of neurological problems, as well as depression, chronic pain, as well as gum disease and muscle weakness which can play a really big part in our recovery, especially as we're getting older, um, but for anybody, as well as anybody who works out a lot and you know, lives an active life. This can really play a big part in our recovery. And I find the older we get, the more negatively this can affect us and the more susceptible we are to some of those conditions. So the body normally makes about 10,000 to 20,000 IUs of vitamin D3 when exposed to full sunlight on a significant portion of our body. So the skin has to be exposed, our face has to be exposed to the sunlight for at least 30 minutes, which is why I'm a big proponent of getting out there and walking, especially during the day. Uh, any kind of walking is good, but if you can walk during the day when the sun's out, even better. And it's a great way to start your fitness journey and to continue that journey. I walk lots as well as, you know, do other calisthenics. So we don't really see a lot of benefits from taking D3 unless we're taking it consecutively every day. So it has to accumulate in our body. Uh, usually by day three or four, we'll start to experience some of the benefits. Usually it has to do with energy, muscle soreness, and mood. Though, I have had friends who I've suggested to take more vitamin D3, and they've experienced changes emotionally and physically within the first day or two. So it all depends on the person and their metabolism, I guess, and their physiology. So the bottom line is, check out how much D3 you're getting daily. And if you're not getting enough, if you're not getting at least four to say 6,000 IUs a day, 
which we can't get a lot from food actually, believe it or not. We have to either be outside or take it through supplements, which is why I believe so strongly in just getting out there and walking. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe down below and hit the like button so I get to make more videos. If you have any ideas for a future video or a comment you'd like to leave, do so down in the comment section. And no. I've also left a link down below with a downloadable PDF with some more detailed information on vitamin D3. And please remember to, before you're taking any type of supplement or anything, to always consult a nurse. Um, and please remember if you're going to, please remember if you're going to take any type of supplements or um, vitamins, it's always a good idea to consult a health practitioner. So until next time, stay fit, stay active, and get out there and walk. Be well, my friends.